Good day, Joy. Hey, Chris. How you going? I'm good, mate. How's things? Yeah, and no, I've been going well. Mate, last time we spoke, um, you'd been up in Mackay for about a year. Um, and the church had grown to about 20 people and you were looking for a new venue to grow into with some growing numbers at the church. What's been happening since then, mate? Yeah, yep. so it's been exciting the, the last few weeks, uh, kind of getting all the, the regular crew back and then we've had um, probably about eight, eight or nine people come along new in the last month um, to church and, and most of those guys look like they're, they're going to stick with us. It's so, been exciting. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then uh, we've also been running on a Thursday night, kind of like a, uh, it's, we're calling it phase two meetings, so we're preparing for, for phase two of the church plant. So we've had uh, 13 adults who have come along to, to those meetings, and so it's been really exciting just to have those guys linking in, uh, so that's been cool. Um, I think you mentioned the, the new venue, so we're, we're looking mid-year to move into a, a school hall, and we've kind of got the okay uh, the, the school that our kids go to, um, that hall's available, and so we've been given the okay to pursue that. So, yeah, so that's a little bit of an update about church. <laughs> Good stuff, mate. That sounds really exciting. Now, yeah, um, cool. how, how else are you and your family going, mate? It's a pretty um, pretty big change you've made, moving away from friends and family uh, up to Mackay to start a church with, um, you don't really know anyone. How's that been, mate, a year in? Um. Oh, this year on one level just feels awesome because we're doing everything for the second time rather than the first time. So that's been exciting, rocking up to school and we actually know the school. And <laughs> um, Yeah, but it's, it's been good relationally, like um, particularly for Jay, but me a bit as well at the school, just really taken off in terms of being able to meet people and I guess push forward with relationships we already had. Um, even at the gym I go to, just, just starting to get some traction in I don't know, just having those initial conversations with people, but yeah, I feel like we're getting more relationally connected, so that's been exciting. Um, and I, yeah, I guess the, the kickback on that is that Jay and I are probably feeling a bit wasted at the moment because it's, yeah, it's all this interaction with people, which is exciting but tiring as well. Yeah, well, mate, <laughs> hang in there and keep going. Quickly, yeah. what can we pray for the church for and what can we pray for you and your family for? Sure. Yeah. So I guess um, for the church, probably the one of the big needs at the moment is for some of these new guys who have come along in really the last six months to to connect in and uh, I guess step up to to serve in church. We've got a lot of people who are pretty keen, um, and so it's more just finding the right place for them to serve and equipping and enabling them to to do that. Let them loose. Um, so pray God that allow that to happen. And and the other thing would be. Yeah, I think, um, as I say, as a church, not just our family, we feel like we're more relationally connected this year. And so I guess just really praying that this year would be a year when we can actually engage um, the people we know with the gospel. Um, so we've got a hoping in that term three to run an evangelistic course, which will get the whole church to rock up to and invite their friends to. So that's kind of a big focus, uh, doing a bit of tra evangelism training in this, this term with Jim Ramsey. So, yeah, pray for that stuff. It would be great. Good on you, mate. We'll pray and uh, look forward to catching up with you again sometime, mate. Sounds good. Yep. Thanks for your prayers and support. We appreciate it, hey. All right, mate. Catch ya. <laughs>